Hey, hey, everybody. It's your girl, Story Time with Miss Ty on deck. So I don't know how good you guys can hear me, but I'm coming to you guys after work right now. And they just had a um, medical emergency on the train. So anyhow, there was just a medical emergency when I came down here to catch my train and it just delayed things gravely. So this is what is looking like. It was much more crowded than this, but apparently it's starting to clear out some now. Some more police officers coming down. The uh, ambulance left. And now I'm waiting to see how long it's going to take for me to be able to actually board my train because it is smoking hot out here, you guys. I do mean smoking hot. So this is one of the things that I think, like, uh, what do you call that? A deterrent from taking public transportation because you never know what you're going to get. You end up with this. The good thing about it is when it's running, it's running efficiently and you usually can get to where you need to be. Hey guys, so I'm back on deck. So I'm done with the bar situation, right? I have to take off my blazer, as you can see. Y'all, it was hot, super duper hot. Right now, California got some old crazy weather going on where it's just like summer kicked the front door in, kicked the back door in, and bust all the windows out. It's like crazy. This is my least favorite um, season is summer. Why? Because I hate the heat. I'm one of those people who would rather for it to be cold than hot. But I don't know. You guys, let me know how you feel about that. Light up the comments. I It could be about 50 degrees is more than enough for me. 60 degrees is great. I just don't like it real hot. Me and the heat don't really get along that well. But you know, I'm still living my greatest life out here, moving and grooving. Okay, so like I said, did I tell you guys it was a medical emergency on part, which had the train like 20 minutes delayed or something like that. And so like everybody was getting off, running upstairs and, and trying to find an alternate way to get home. Um, that's just how it is. But um, BART is good, you know, for public transportation as long as it's running well. But in that unfortunate circumstance that something's wrong, oh, your whole day jacked up. Your, your money's jacked up because whatever you plan to commute with, you can forget about that. You can double it or triple it, whatever. You know what I mean? Just that part. But I'm glad it's over and I'm, I'm still um, in process of, of headed to my greatest destination. Oh, this wanted to tell you guys. What I heard of today, I read this. No, no, no. Did I read it? Oh, no, I didn't. I saw it on Facebook. It's something called a smart wallet. And I know that, um, what do you call that? Father's Day is on the brink of coming up. So to all the fathers out there, in case I do not say it in any of my other videos, happy Father's Day to everybody who, even if you're not a biological father, but you do the role as a father, you a true man, I salute you. If nobody else said it, I have said it. Um, continue to stand up and, and make a difference, okay? So happy Father's Day to all the fathers, to all the coming fathers and all that other good stuff, to uncles and grandpas and great grandpas and all the other neat stuff out there. I hope you guys do something awesome and enjoy your day. So if you a person out there who has a husband, a boyfriend, or a father, or even a brother who, you know, has children or something else like that, they have this, uh, this they have this wallet out called a smart wallet. I hope you guys can hear me. But it's called a smart wallet, right? And basically what it is, is it's a wallet that has like a chip in it. And say if you get in an Uber, out of an Uber or something else like that, right? And you accidentally leave your wallet, or even at a restaurant. Say you go out to dinner and you leave your wallet at a restaurant. What, what you can do is you can press a button on your cell phone and the button will help you to locate your wallet. It will tell you exactly where your wallet is. Now for all y'all people who be watching my videos under my Miss I Am channel, I thank you guys so much, right? This will also be a dating tip. If you press your, if you lose your wallet and you have no idea where it is and you press the button to find it and it's in your date's purse, that's a red flag to keep it moving. <laughs> Just so you guys know, that's a red flag to keep it moving right there. But anyhow, it's a pretty cool wallet and it also, this is not a sponsored thing. This is just something I saw, okay? And I thought it would be a cool, trendy little gift. But um, also with the same smart wallet, you guys can charge your phones from your wallet. Isn't that cool? Oh, well, look, I like trinket stuff like that. But anyways, so if you could charge your phone from your wallet, and if your wallet is lost, kind of like the, uh, what do you call that? A remote or something else like that, 
you can press a button and it will just like your cell phone you can press a button and it will locate exactly where your wallet is right so I thought that was really cool beans I'm not sure how many guys actually carry wallets these days but if you guys are one of my friends my supporters whatnot and you guys are watching this video go ahead and like the comments up and let me know do you carry a wallet and if so do you think that would be a cool gift to give for like Father's Day or a birthday or an anniversary or anything else like that right light up the comments I'd love to know about that well anyways guys um, I am still in transition to get home but I'm not gonna hold y'all right now cuz I gotta go and find a way to get cool or cooler than I already am you know um, anyways so if this is your first time you see my face on your screen please go ahead and smash that red box and hit those notification bells so we can stay connected yeah that part well like I always say there's always another story to be told but for now bye